My name is John Ehrlich, and I am a scoring composer for television and film. I went to New York after college, and I worked in the theater and was writing musicals and reached a point where I was not sure I was going to be able to kind of like make any kind of a steady living. And like right around that time, I had a really close friend who was at the NYU Film School a little bit of a light bulb went off for me. And then, you know, within, you know, that year, I had sort of made my way out to LA to do the USC film scoring program. The first thing I try and do is to kind of find my way into what the storyteller, whether it's like a producer or a writer or director, what was their connection to the material. I feel like, you know, we're often a in a position where we can really help reintroduce them to the thing that, that sort of like sparked inspiration for them. And then to figure out like what is the role of score? Because it's really easy to kind of like phone that in and just say, well, you know, wherever you need some music to fix this or, you know. And I try as much as possible to never get into that mindset where, where music is serving as a band-aid. Get into my studio, no windows, no sunlight, dim the lights. Really, I'm just looking at the screen and be present. Everything is sort of like, just like a jumble of luck and timing and hard work and perseverance. But I, that's certainly one thing about our field, like nobody's story is the same. You know, it, it, there's just no prescription for it. Your instrument is not the piano. It's not a trombone. This is your instrument. There are a lot of people who can write music. And there are great musicians. And sometimes as a composer, again, it's almost better not be a great musician. That's the thing that is going to enable you to communicate with the people who you're working with, which is probably the most important part of your job because music is not something that everyone is, is like fluent or literate in, but everyone really understands it, comprehends it. So being able to kind of sit in that space with them and be able to talk about a scene in story terms, in emotional terms, because that's how they're relating to it. That's the thing that is gonna make them feel like they can trust you because you are a storyteller. When I was first starting out, I wasn't getting return calls from my unnamed um, PRO at the time. And somebody just mentioned, oh, you know, there's this other PRO, um, CSAC, and in this moment, these guys are straightforward. They're willing to just tell us, like, here, here's our rate sheet. You know, this is, this is what you're gonna get paid for a background on this, you know, station and so forth. And it was just very straightforward and we felt like, we felt special. And that's the thing, it's like when you're with CSAC, you are special because they curate their roster and the content that they wanna represent.